Sorry, be quick. I need $500. It's a matter of life and death. Okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Picture. Sicily. 1956. <laughs> My father has run him a gambling debt of over $200. And if he doesn't pay it off, we end up homeless. Or even worse. What could be worse? We could end up sleeping with the fishes. What? Why would anyone want to sleep with fishes? It's an old mafia term. They could hook some guy up to concrete and throw him in the river. Oh dear. That's not very nice. <laughs> anyway, my cousin Vinny has connections to the mob. And so, you know, he kind of made some good deals here. And now we owe them. Or else we're going to owe him a favor. What kind of favor? Don't ask, Rose. <laughs> don't ask, Rose. You don't want to know. Those kind of favors can get pretty ugly. Anyway, it's a matter of life and death. Well, you're not getting 500 bucks from me, Ma. Pussycat, you don't believe me, do you? And why would I? These stories you concoct to get money out of me get wilder and wilder by the day. Well, I must commend you on your creative imagination. <laughs> He's out there right now waiting for me to come out. If you don't believe me, come on, let's go look out the window. <laughs> There he is, waiting for me. But that's Mr. Winthrop from down the street, and he's waiting for the boss. That's what they want you to think, pussycat. They're masters of disguise. He's dressed as Mr. Winthrop as an after uh, suspicion with the neighbors. Well, you're not getting any money out of me, Ma. All right, how about $200? I'll ask for a postponement. No dice, Ma. And another thing, I'm cutting all further allowances until you stop badgering me for money.